Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022, slot 1 DILR says that Adhra, Biti, Chaya, Dhanvi, Esther and Fatima, A to F are the interviewers in a process that awards funding for new initiatives. Each interviewer individually interviews each of the candidates individually and awards a token only if she recommends funding. A token has a face value of 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 or 13, all prime numbers. Each interviewer awards tokens for a single face value only. So for example, let us say A awards 2, will award 2 only. Okay, suppose E awards 5, will award 5 only. Once all 6 interviews are over for a candidate, the candidate receives a funding that is 1000 times the product of the face values of all the tokens. For example, if a candidate has tokens with face values 2, 5 and 7, so they will get a funding of 1000 into 2 into 5 into 7, which is 70,000. There are 5 candidates, you can call them PQ, RST, and they received fundings. The fundings they received were 390,000, 210,000, 165,000, 77,000 and 66,000 in no particular order. Okay. Now we need to find who is giving token to whom, who is receiving token from whom. So we will make a table like this and fill in the values that uh, the tokens that they received from different people. So first let us uh, read these three statements and put some tick cross and then we will deal with these numbers. Fatima awarded tokens to everyone except Quira. So Fatima will give, not give to Quira, but will give to everyone else. While Adhara awarded tokens to no one except Pragna. So that means Adhara awarded only to Pragna and no one else. Then Rashida received the highest number of tokens that anyone received, but she did not receive one from Esther. So Ra Rashida did not receive from Esther and she received the highest number of tokens. Biti awarded a token to Smera but not to Quera. So B to S, B not to Q. While Dhanvi awarded a token to Kahira, so uh, D is giving to Q but not giving to S. So these are the information that are given to us. Now we need to find out the face value of these tokens. So what we need to do is, we need to do the prime factorization of the given numbers. Now this thousand times is just a redundant information, useless information, Could uh, you just need to avoid it. 390. Now how can we break 390? 390 can be written as 13 into 30, right? 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. So if a person is getting 390, we'll have 13, 2, 3 and 5. Next is 210. 210 is 7 into 30. Again, 30 is 2, 3, 5 and into 7. So let me write 13 here in the increasing order. Then we have 165. 165 is a multiple of 5. So 5 into 33. 33 is 3 into 11. So 3 into 5 into 11. Then 77 is only 7 into 11 and 66 is 6 into 11 which is 2 into 3 into 11 right now we need to find out these people from the given hints now first two hints let us check first hint says that Fatima awarded tokens to everyone so we need to find which could be F so F should give so these are five numbers F should give to four of them so the only possible number that we can see is 3 is present in 4 such values. So that means Fatima has a token value of 3. Right. Now if you look at Adhara, Adhara awarded to only one person. Right. Now Adhara is giving to only one person uh, and that value could be 2 is coming multiple times, 3 is multiple, 5 is multiple, 7 is also multiple times. 11 is also multiple times, 13 comes only one times. So Adhra is 13. Now from this, we also figure out that Fatima is not giving to Kahira. So Fatima, this must be Q. Kahira is not receiving the token from Fatima. So Kahira received a total of 77,000 in funding. And at the same time, 
uh, Adhra awarded token to only Pragna. So this is Pragna. Okay. Uh, so uh, Pragnya, that will be 390. This is 390. So these two people are fit. And uh, now we will see the next thing, which says that Rashida received the highest number of tokens. So Pragna has received four tokens. So this means this must be Rashida because she is receiving highest number of tokens. So Rashida is 210 thousands. And Rashida received four tokens. So Rashida received tokens from these three people as well. Now, Rashita is receiving 2, 3, 5, 7. She is not receiving 11. She is not receiving 13. Okay. So, uh, not receiving 11 and 13. 13 is this. So, E must be 11. Okay. That's how we will figure out the values. So, E is 11. That means E will assign to Q. So, Q will get from E as well. Now, it is given that Q is 77, which is 7 into 11. So 11 is figured out. This will be 7. Okay. So this is how we can find the value of the uh, token values of D as well. Okay. Now we will uh, do the same thing. We will try to figure out the other values also and see who receives token from whom. Okay. So we have like Q is done. R is also done. We have 390. 390 is 2, 3, 5 and 13. 13 is done and 3 is done. So remaining 2 are 2 and 5. So it must not be from these two. Should be from these two. So these two people are thus far 2 and 5. B and C. Because P will receive 2, 3, 5 and 13. Cannot receive 7 and 11. Now next person is S and T. S and T, if we see, S and T are 3, 5, 11 or 2, 3, 11. So, 3, 11 are common in both and 2 is one of these. So, they should receive 3 and 11 both. So, 3, they, both of them have received, they will receive 11 also. Okay. So, these are S and T. They will receive 3, 5, 11 or 3, 2, 11. So, 3 and 11 are common. So, we have marked 3 and 11 and then we have 2 or 5. Now, one person is receiving this, another person should receive this because both cannot receive like suppose this is 2, so both cannot receive 2 or if this is 5, both cannot receive 5. So, one of them will receive from T. No one will receive from 7 and these are the values that we will get. Now, the thing about this set is it cannot be solved beyond this place because we do not know which is 2 or 5. So, if this value is 2, so let's take two cases and understand it. Let's take this value as 2 and 5. So in this scenario, S will get a total funding of 66 and T will get a total funding of 165. And if we consider the other case where this value is 5 and this value is 2, in this case, S will get a funding of 165 and T will get a funding of 66. So these are the two values that we cannot determine. So now let us look at the questions. The first question says, how many tokens did Kahira receive? So Kahira received two tokens, one from D, one from B. Who among the following definitely received a token from BT but not from Dhanvi? BT not from Dhanvi. So P is one of those persons. That is in the options. Q, T, R, if we see, Q does not satisfy, R also does not satisfy, and T also does not satisfy. How many tokens did Chaya award? So Chaya awarded 1, 2, and 3 tokens. How many tokens did Smera receive? Now we cannot find the value, but we definitely know that she received a total of 3 tokens. Which of the following could be the total amount of funding that Tantra received? So Tantra, we know that it is either 66 or 165 depending on the value of C. Okay, because 11 and 3 are already present. So 33 is already there. It is 2 or 5. So 66 or 165, it could be both A and B. So this was the solution to the set. 
and the answers to the questions.